Uh, it is Saturday still, and I did get the, uh, I got the pig fence cut. You can see I cut and uh, put in here. And this is a uh, a baby bed uh, frame uh, that we found uh, on the side of the road, of course. And uh, all I've got to do now is get my zip ties in here and uh, zip tie this all up. I may, may still have to put some wood blocks in here to keep the uh, keep the, the pig fencing up against the uh, up against the, the plywood there. I've got a little ledge inside here that the plywood, I mean, uh, the wood can fit in there. And then I've got these other pieces here. I've got uh, several more of these that, uh, again, uh, I think my son-in-law brought these to me. He'd gotten them out of an apartment. They were some kind of a part of a racking system. But I'm going to tie those in at the end and uh, put one on the gate so it'll go over. But I uh, can't do anything without the uh, zip ties. We'll pick those up tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, we can go by Goodwill. They had a really good price on them last time we were there. Well, it's another Sunday morning, and I just got done carting back two loads of, uh, of, of forage items for the, uh, for the pigs and uh, realized, man, it, once we get some uh, the land where we can, we can let the pigs free forage, uh, free forage, it will actually free up about 12 to 15 hours a week for me. Um, things that I'm not doing there um, so that I could spend other, otherwise. So today um, I have some inspection work and I'm going to be riding with Charlene. Um, I'll pick up the uh, zip ties for the trailer and, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm doing some inspection work today. Inspection work, restaurant work, farm work. Uh, my old friend Ben Ribble and I used to, to kid around when we were working uh, several gigs uh, in the hospitality industry, we were backstage bartenders. We worked at a uh, restaurant. We worked through a temporary service. Uh, we it was back when the uh, Wyans on uh, In Living Color were doing the uh, Jamaica Man skit. And uh, so you only have two jobs, you're a lazy man. You only have three jobs, you're a lazy man. And so um, <laughs> I guess I epit uh, 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 I am the epitome of the uh, of the multitasker. That, but I've always been that way, so it's it's cool. Anyway, uh, it's a beautiful day today. Uh, the, we didn't get the frost that we were expecting, so it only got down to 36. So everything's cool there, and uh, look for a good uh, opportunity at the markets. Uh, we're going to be looking for land today while we're out riding. That's what I meant to mention. Uh, we're going in a direction where we've seen some land in that area, and uh, so we'll be checking out some land as well. And uh, then last night I was speaking with my boss at the restaurant uh, about how the, the market got rained out this week. Uh, and he said, well, bring some of your microgreens up here. We'll see if we can buy some off of you from time to time and put in our recipes. So there is a there's a start. And, I'll, you know, and the thing is, I almost walked away from that. I almost backed away from that. Um, and again, that's something personally I'm dealing with uh, by saying, oh no, it's, it's, it's okay. When there's a door that's open and uh, because it's not the door I'm expecting, I, I don't uh, immediately jump through. And that's something I've got to work on. It's Tuesday morning. We'll uh, see how our microgreens are going. And these are our nasturtium and they're starting to sprout. It looks like I've got a little bit of uh, maybe radish seed that, that dropped in there somehow but uh, my nasturtium here is uh it's starting to sprout it's still a good uh maybe 10 15 days away uh this is a slower producing plant but uh, we'll put it back under darkness and uh in the meantime the beets are looking really good at this tray and in this tray i can't figure out what's going on in here generally when something like this happens there's uh it's that uh it got too dry but uh, the rest of the, the plants have been thriving okay. Uh, just one of the oddities. I'll have to do some research on that. And here are the uh, two trays of buckwheat that I've started for next week. Uh, next week's market. Um, they are just about ready to go under the light. Maybe one more day in the darkness. Watering them down again. And uh, then we'll pull them out and let them start greening up. I grabbed a uh, pack of cable ties from my local hardware store, uh, or zip ties as they're called in Georgia. And uh, I'm gonna start tying off the, uh, the trailer all around the edges here, and then I'll start connecting here. I've got 100 ties, so that should get me done. We'll see. 
Well, the uh, the chariot is complete. The uh, hauler to haul the, the pigs, well, almost entirely complete. I've got everything put together here. That should be pretty sturdy for them. Once I get, uh, I'll get bales of hay in here. Now I will need to cut. I'm gonna have to go to uh, the depot probably and pick up some, uh, uh, it's called concrete wire, I think it is. Anyway, it comes in about an eight foot section, but I'll cut a couple of those there so that when I pull the gate to, it'll fill in this area here and over there. I thought I would have a couple of those pieces there. Uh, they weren't wide enough. So um, anyway, um, I'll pick those up, cut them, put them in here and uh, zip tie everything in and we'll be ready to uh, take Mr. Zeus on Monday. Now I've just got this load of uh, Z beans coffee grounds left to get into the garden and then that will wrap it up for today's uh, work in the yard. Anyway, I'll start getting ready for uh, this evening's work. I let my uh, seeds, a lot of them germinate, well, almost all of them germinate under weighted trays. And so this morning I came out and the trays on these, the weighted trays on these were being pushed out, especially these. These are nasturtium. Now they're probably not, uh, they're maybe two markets out that I'll be getting to those uh, before I'll get to the nasturtium. Uh, but the uh, these are buckwheat and buckwheat will be ready for next week's market. Uh, for this week, we've still got the uh, beets. And again, I can't figure out what went on in this area here, but I'll be harvesting the rest of the beets um, and plus what I had left over from last week. But also my, uh, my alfalfa sprouts. I think I got the right uh, mix in here. So I'll be taking those out into the sun and let those green up before market. And then we'll be cutting some, uh, some spearmint. The spearmint is back. I had plenty from last week, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm using that myself in my teas. So I'll, I'll cut some spearmint for the market as well today. Um, I may be able to do that before uh, Charlene and them get back for breakfast. It's uh, it's market day and uh, I didn't have a lot to do because I had greens left over from last week's market. I'll show you the, the beets and uh, the other greens that are coming loose. But in the meantime, Charlene's taking dad to, uh, to have his blood work done. And so I decided to go ahead and put this latch in on this fence where I'll be able to uh, now let me get this thing latched again. That keeps pretty sturdy there and I'll be able to separate Zeus off into this area now the pigs have been in this area um, I tried to separate them with that flimsy little latch that I had and uh, they kind of tore through that so uh, they've been in this area so I'll put Zeus in here uh, either today and the rest of this week or Saturday at the latest and let him uh, feed and take all of his food and water over here uh, and then we will be able to uh, on Monday morning back the trailer up to that gate there and just running through that gate into the trailer they're already used to going through that gate for food anyway so that's the plan well uh, everything's all set for market uh, it looks like my uh, alfalfa sprouts are gonna have to wait another week maybe I can uh, sell those on the uh, via the website and by subscription but everything else is loaded up and ready to go, ready for the market, everything except for the greens. And uh, I've got enough time to get one more cart full of, uh, of forage for my pigs before we leave. And while I'm out foraging clover out of my, uh, out of my berry patch, I have come to my blueberry bush and I have blueberries. I have blueberries so uh, that's the only bush we've got that's uh, that's actually got any uh, berries on it any growth on it but I do have also I've got strawberries growing all over the place you can see a little one developing right there and we've got a, a good size one here so uh, and several flowers that uh, are uh, there's another one here as well right there and we've got several over here. So it's that time of year. As often happens when I'm foraging for my animals, I find that we are, we are having a nice outbreak of wild plantain in our garden. And I'm gonna harvest a little bit of it for the animals, but there's a good patch of it coming in there, which again is an edible, forageable 
totally free food source. It's Friday and uh, just got off the phone with Charlene and boy do I feel, I feel terrible. I, uh, I had to, um, we've been trying to get the, uh, the trailer hitch on our truck for a while now, trying to find someone around here to do it. And so I finally got a, uh, a, an appointment with the U-Haul place in, uh, in McDonough, which is about an hour away from here. And uh, for this morning at nine o'clock, and I've got to work at 11.30, so um, Charlene uh, took the truck up and um, they didn't tell me on the phone that it was a drop off only and now it's going to be about three to four hours they say before they can uh, they can get to it so um, anyway um, I just did a little working to see if I could get the time moved up a little bit and uh, we'll see how that works out but um, and also I'll I'll send some uh, a little soothing magic her way as far as calming her and uh, helping her find because she says there's nothing around there that she can go to, you know like there's not like a coffee shop or anything she can go sit in or anything there's it's a it's a warehouse so um i'm i'm uh, i'm just sending uh a working for a resolution to that situation so now it's time to go and uh, and uh, forage some food for my animals and uh and uh, get ready for uh, work the, the day can only get better it's early friday evening uh Sun hasn't gone down yet, and Charlene and I just got in from a, a mini date uh, kind of excursion. After I got off work today, uh, we decided we were going to go, and um, I hadn't eaten, uh, she hadn't eaten, and uh, we went and had a little a little date, mini date night at uh, at the Brick, a real nice little Italian restaurant. Uh, we had some pizza, some stuffed mushrooms. I had a beer, she had a mixed drink, we had Caesar salad, it was it was really nice. And uh, we talked, we didn't even look at our electronic devices one time throughout the meal, um, and even barely glanced at the TVs. We got to talk, it was really, really good time for us. And so uh, we're gonna have an early evening, I'm gonna finish up everything here, take care of my plants, and then tomorrow, I'm going to I'm going to film some I guess on our trip maybe I'll I'll record some on our trip down but we're going to we're going to visit uh, some of Charlene's relatives and uh some some of her family that she hasn't seen in a while and uh we're going to take dad with us and uh I'll hang out with dad and let Charlene visit with her family and uh we'll see how it goes so we'll see if I can I can get some content in but uh, until then until next time um just remember if you're not growing it Find somebody that is and support that person, that entity that, that are growing. Uh, support those. Support the farmers. Uh, join a CSA. Uh, do what you can. Buy locally. Support your local farmer. Namaste.